video, we have some questions written down with some numbers. So we numbered our questions and say I get a two and a three. That means we're going to have to answer the question that is question number five. I don't know if I explained that good enough. That's good. They'll figure it out. But we're also going to be doing a mukbang as well. We're basically just eating food and answering questions. Yeah. So let's roll. <laughs> to just like be yourself and like not let what anyone like tells you to influence how you feel about yourself. Your turn. Six. Six. That took me way too long to count. If you were to pick a song right now to describe your life, what would it be? Okay, so there's two. I think it would be R.I.P. to my youth by the neighborhood or what the hell happened by Ken? Yeah, that's basically describing my life. Nice. I just had these gummies in a really long time. They're just so good. They're the best. I mentioned them in my favorites video, so if you haven't watched that video already, you should. Go watch it. Is your turn? Yep. Eight. Who's a celebrity you look up to? Um, I wouldn't say, like, celebrity, but, like, they're definitely, like, popular, I guess you could yeah, say. That's, like, a YouTuber I watch. Their channel's called Giddy Vlogs. They're super real, super genuine, and I just love their content, so. I'm subscribed and have my notifications on, too. Make sure you guys do the same thing. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. Yeah. Do that. Ten. Again, takes me way too long to count. <laughs> me too. What was the last thing that made you cry? Oh, what did make me cry? Um, <laughs> probably ELA notes or math. Yeah. I think it was. I was in math and I asked to go to the bathroom and I went in the bathroom and cried and punched the wall. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. Just school in general. Yeah, literally. School. I had to present today in social class, and so I literally had an anxiety attack, and I literally started like hyperventilating and crying. I had an anxiety anxiety attack over Eli notes. If you know me, you know I'm a very stressed out person, and I'm sure you're, you can relate. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Ten. Very good, that one. Well, you can do it too, because I already did that. Nine. Why did that take me too long to count, Jesus? <laughs> I'm going to cross out the ones that we already did, so that then I remember. Well, I can answer some, like, the ones that you already did. Oh, yeah, true. So I can just, like, put, like, an initial next to the ones of yeah. whoever, like, did what. Yeah. You can technically put your initial next to the one I just did, because you can kind of answer that too. What's a quality you look for in a future partner? Uh, like a quality of the person? Yeah. I think that overall just being like genuine and like being true to who you are around me, like being yourself. Yeah, like being genuine to who you really are and not trying to like be someone you're not. And like, don't have a deeper voice either because it's not attractive. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not attractive. <laughs> Famous 
mountain biker. She's from like the Lake Placid area, I think. She's like famous mountain biker and she's really cool. I think she's been to the Olympics. And she's lesbian. And she's a woman and she like got in a lot of hate of like just because she's lesbian, because she's a woman. And but she like still managed to get to the Olympics and it's just like so empowering. It's, it's like it's very inspirational. Yeah. I have a poster of her on my door. Sorry. <laughs> it's been there since I was like six. Five. What is something that triggers or upsets you? A lot of things upset me. I have to say, like, when people, like, try and relate to your story that, like, like, if you come to them about, like, a problem and they're like, oh my god, like, saying that happened to me and then, like, tell their side of the story, like, like it just makes me annoyed. Like, I'm just trying to, like, vent, vent to you and, like, you're trying to, like, take control of the situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Seven. What is something you wish you knew five years ago? Oh, um, how long was five years ago? That was <laughs> when I was in third grade. Okay. Yeah. Um, now we're in eighth grade. Yeah. Being, and we are single. Being popular and being the center of attention and caring what people think about you is never the way to live life. Yeah. It, you'll be happier when you're doing what you love and being yourself and being genuine rather than trying to be a people pleaser and trying to mm -hmm. have everyone get to like you. It makes you happy yeah. not do it because like how many likes you're going to get or how many people are going to care. Yeah. Just do something because you can want to. Exactly. That's why I'm doing YouTube because I want to do it. Yeah. Not because people told me I had to do it in order to get popular. Like, yeah. do you think I'm popular right now on YouTube? No. So make sure you subscribe because only 45% of you are subscribed to watch my videos to sing. Mm -hmm. That was very sappy and inspirational. Good job, Elise. Eleven. Why did that take me so long to think? Have you ever liked the same person? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we've liked multiple of the same people, but we're not going <laughs> to disclose the names for their privacy reasons, <laughs> but, um, yes, we have. There's a difference between thinking the same person is cute and liking, liking like, them. Like, yeah. Because there's been cases where we both thought, like, the same person was cute, but we yeah. didn't, like, have a crush on Although we all, we also have had a crush on so the answer is yes, yes, we have, but at different times. At different course. times, but <laughs> at the same time. When did you? Fifth or sixth grade. I remember Not six. fifth. Not fifth because I remember you guys. He liked yeah, you. Yeah, fourth, fifth. He liked you. Yeah, fourth, fifth. Yeah. So I and then sixth, sixth he grade. kicked my leg. He kicked my cast when it was broken. This guy who we both liked kicked my leg when it was broken because I think it's because either he didn't like me because I rejected him or because he just didn't want, he didn't want to accept the fact that my leg was actually broken. I feel like people just didn't like People did not believe you. Believe me. Yeah, and there was another one too, and it was actually recent. It was in seventh grade, you liked the guy, and then I liked the guy like shortly after. I think it was eighth grade actually. They didn't were in now. See, from about, when was it? It was the start of seventh grade. Yeah, you oh, liked I, him. No, but I like multiple at once because there's a difference between dating multiple people at once and liking multiple people at once. Yeah. Because you can like think someone is cute and like yeah, someone. Like, like, yeah. Like so I liked, okay, but I had the hardest crush on him for a solid year. I was obsessed with this boy. <laughs> Distraction. If you get me. Yeah. I always thought he was cute. I didn't we know literally, we either. were playing soccer in my backyard, or my front yard was it, and we were like telling each other who we liked, and she, and literally I was like, what's, what's the first letter, because she wouldn't tell me, 
And she was like, no, that gives it away. So I was like, second letter. She was like, oh. I was like, oh, I definitely know. I was like, did they go to our school? And she was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, yeah, then I definitely know. But then, like, I, then I liked him in eighth grade. And, like, he hardcore, like, rejected me. Like, you know, whatever. Like, it's okay. Like, you just broke my heart. But, you know. Like, I can't even date anyway, so I don't know why he was like, I don't want to get into a serious relationship right now. Like, I'm working on myself. Like, I'm working on myself too. That's great. Like, like that's great. I'm really happy. Why did I ever want a boyfriend? <laughs> like, why did I? I used to feel like it was a necessity. Yeah. Like, I couldn't live without one. Like, oh, I need this person to be happy. Yeah. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at me. <laughs> I'm amazing. I. Yeah. I'm like, so hot. I'm amazing. I'm perfect. Yeah, because we're just eating. <laughs> yeah. Coming here eating food. Now we're perfect just the way we are. Three. Three. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Let's see. Um. In sixth grade, I announced to the entire classroom that I have asked out. <laughs> your videos so you might even cut that part out he does uh-huh but yeah hi if you're watching this video you probably know who you are i also got three what is one of your most embarrassing moments oh my god okay i got one so i was on a google meet right for a class because i'm currently remote and i looked like a piece of garbage, right? So my hair was all messed up. I look crazy. Like I just roll out of bed type of situation. And I'm like on my class, like, I'm on my camera on because I think that, you know, like my teacher's not paying attention and like he's the only one who can see me, right? Because he's on his laptop. But no, literally did I know he had me on his TV and this kid goes, I'm not gonna say her name because for privacy reasons, but she goes, I like your spinning Christmas tree. I was like, how do you know I have a spinning Christmas tree? Like in my head, I was like, why? Like, how do you know that? And I was like, oh my God, I'm up on the board. And then, and <laughs> oh yeah, Paige, by the way, you're up on the board. Is that okay with you? I was like, that would have been nice to know this whole time because I looked like a piece of garbage. But sure, go ahead. Our turn. Four. What are three words you would use to describe the other person? Mm -hmm. so what are three words you would use to describe me? Energetic. Mm -hmm. Feisty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweet. That seems very bland. Easy to talk to. That's multiple yeah. words, but like easy to open up to, I guess. Well, Twelve. Do you want children? If so, how many? So, I want like two or three kids. So, of course, yes, I do want kids. I want like two to three. Nine. What's a quality you look for in a future partner? Just be yourself. Like, don't. It's like the exact same one that Paige said. I don't care what other people think about you, I guess. Of course, like, be loyal. Yeah. Like, too. You know, like, be loyal. Like, to general. Them common sense you would think people have with getting into a relationship. Yeah. Don't judge what I've done or what I've been through if you haven't experienced the exact same thing in, in the exact same way I have. Don't judge when you don't know what was going through my mind at that point in time, I guess. Like, don't judge until you get the full story. Six. You if you were to pick a son right now to describe your life, what would it be? So I think I would pick Find Me by Nikki Dinar. I have candy cane in my mouth, so I'm going to be talking a little bit. 
five. Five? I don't think I did. You didn't, no. What is something that triggers or upsets you? <sighs> okay, so there's a lot. When people just don't believe in like basic human rights, like when people don't support like the LGBTQ community and like Black Lives Matter and like that and like abortion and that kind of thing. Yeah. Just basic human rights to let people, you know, marry who they want and live freely and like, you know, we're supposed to be America, the land of the free. Why are yeah. you restricting these people's rights? Like, just not supporting basic human rights. Yeah, like basically. God forbid you're raped and yeah. you want to get an abortion because you don't want to have that person's kid. Yeah. Or like if you're super young and it was an accident and you don't exactly. want to have a child when you're a teenager. Exactly. Like, and just not and supporting like, basic rights. people like, of color are like, they're human They're beings. human beings. Like, like they make mistakes, we make mistakes, they should be treated the same and valued exactly. the same as us. I haven't done this one yet. Okay. What are three words you would use to describe the other person? The so three words I would use to describe you are definitely creative, because I feel like you're always doing like some sort of like project. Yeah, I love that about you, you know? Like you're always like sewing or making projects for other people. Another word. Um, definitely caring, because I feel like you're always like thinking of other people. I mean, of course you think of yourself too, mm -hmm. but you always make sure that like the people who you care about are like, they know that you care about them. There's just so many good words to describe you. It's like, I can't just pick another one. That was so sweet. I feel like maybe like sympathetic because you're always like mm -hmm. making sure that, you know, people are feeling their best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're always trying to just lift their spirit, make them feel better. And yeah, I just love those things that you. Thank you. It just makes you feel better about yourself when you know that people yes. care about you, you know. <laughs> well, oh, I got a letter. Okay. Uh, have you ever liked the same person? Oh, yes. We already answered that one. So, the only question that I have left is question number two, so I'm just going to do it instead of rolling so many times just to try and get it. So it says, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go? I think I would go to either the Bahamas or Bora Bora. Yes. Like, for, like, places that are, like, further away. And then, like, if it was, like, closer, it'd probably be, like, Myrtle Beach or, like, Louisiana to see my family, visit my family down there. So we'll just do 12. So, do you want children? If so, how many? Okay, so... I, uh, at most, at most, I want one kid. Maybe if it's twins, I'm not gonna abort one child. I'm gonna have both of them. But I guess if, if I was married and I really, and they really wanted to have two, I'd consider it. All right, so because I answered a question when you were answering it, it threw us off track, so now Elise only has one question left, so it's, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go? See, if it had to be, like, in this country, I'd say Moab, is it Moab or Moab? Well, it's spelled M-O-A-B, um, which is, like, insane mountain bike places and, like, really cool rocks. Okay, that sounds really like lame rocks is why I want to go to Utah. It's really really pretty, and I um or like Paris. Well, I don't know. Was that safe in Paris? I mean, like visiting like different, but like I want to go there. Yeah, New Zealand could be kind of fun. It'd be really fun to like hike on the mountains and like bike around there because it's kind of like you don't really see a lot of people, depends on what part of New Zealand you are in. You don't really see, like, I don't know. Any place where there's like a fun place to mountain bike or hike. But, preferably like Moab, Utah. Yeah. And I feel like as I get older, I'm not really gonna like travel the world that much. I mean like, I will a little bit, but like oh. not a lot. Cause I'm not a super adventurous person. Like if you know me, you know that I like- see I, to like stay home, oh. stay in my comfort zone. I like everything to be planned. Like I don't like change. I don't like 
to not have things planned. Like, I don't like the unknown. I don't like change. See, I love the unknown. I want to travel. Like, I want to go places. That's why we're going to travel. Because you're yeah, going to get me out of comfort we come, zone. We're going to travel to together. Them. I want to, I would just take a car and go. We have our last question that's for yeah. both of us. So, it's, what are three things you both can agree on? Isn't it the one where it's like basic human rights? We both agree yeah, pretty we strongly agree on that. Yeah, we agree on like Black Lives Matter. We agree abortion, on abortion. LGBTQ rights. Yeah. The, your basic human rights. I'd say that's all one category. I think my body, my choice would be a different category, kind of. Yeah. Um, you know, like, why does someone else get to tell me what I get to do with my body? Yeah. Um, exactly. It's like there's a lot of them, but they're not, yeah. like, big ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we agree on a lot of things, just not big categories. Like, I don't know how to categorize. And like we don't want to share like political views or anything like yeah. this, anything like that on this channel. Everyone's entitled to their own rights, but at the end of the day, everyone's political views should be kept off online, kept offline, yeah. and it shouldn't be posted to social media. And I think we both agree that John <laughs> looked better when he had a really curly afro than his hair right now. <laughs> I think we agree on that one pretty solid. Uh, he probably gets so annoyed at us like pranking him oh, so many definitely. times and like annoying him. Oh well, like body image and how like mm -hmm. like everybody, everyone, like beautiful the way they are. Being the best version of yourself doesn't mean being skinny or mm -hmm. you yeah. know the perfect jawline, the perfect body, and yeah, the, you the clear skin. And yeah. yeah. The best version of yourself is when you're happy on the inside and yeah. when you're confident in what you are and who you are yeah. and what you look like. And honestly, if you feel healthy at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Yeah. It doesn't matter about what you look like on the outside. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Maybe it was a little bit inspirational at some points. I know it got pretty sappy during <laughs> some of the points during the video. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out. Bye.